tell you something that's really interesting about one of the famous people who shop along the street. When he's not pitching, get your oral Hershiser relaxes in the dugout by reading Jackie Collins' novel. Could that be true? Well, we'll find out on the street of stunning stores and stories where the glitter meets the dirt. Rodeo Drive! And hoping to scroll down Rodeo Drive today are, from Los Angeles, California, Vicki Daniels. From Brooklyn, New York, Jeremy Regan. And our returning champ from Santa Barbara, California, Amita Hendry. And once again, here's Louise Stewart. Thank you, everyone. Welcome to Rodeo Drive. Amita, you must be happy. You're our reigning champion. You won over $800 in cash and prizes. Yes. And you had a good time. I know you did. Great yesterday. time. It was right. fun. Well, let's find out about Jeremy. Jeremy, what's going on in your life? Um, I moved here from New York City in July. In Los Angeles, I'm doing massage therapy, and I also do private aerobic instructions. Oh, like a Jane Fonda kind of thing? Do you stretch, feel the bird kind of thing? We burn it, baby. All right, all right, Jeremy. Good for you. Good for you. Now, Vicki, now I found out something about you. You wrote letters to Gene Kelly and was invited to his house? Yes. He Tell was. us about that. Yeah, he invited uh, my best friend and I to his house, and um, we went there many, many times, and on one occasion we even danced with him, so that oh, was a lot of fun. Oh, my time. gosh, that's yeah. great. That's a wonderful story. I'm jealous. <laughs> I love Gene Kelly. Well, welcome to the show, everyone. Anita, we'll start round one with you. We have a list of seven concealed words associated with Ronald Reagan. You pick a number, we'll reveal that word to your two opponents and to the audience. Pick a number. Four. The word is Nancy for his wife, Nancy Reagan. Okay, Jeremy, Vicki, you saw the word. Decide if Anita will mention that word in a 15-second gossip free about Ronald Reagan. I see you've locked in your votes. Now, if you're right, I'll give you 50 points. Now, Anita, if you say that word, you'll get whatever points that word is worth, anywhere from 100 to 250 points, depending on how likely we think you are to say it. Okay, Anita, in 15 seconds, tell us all the gossip you know about Ronald Reagan. Go. Ronald Reagan was our president. He was married to Nancy Reagan. Oh, that's it. That's it. Nancy is worth 120 points. All right. Let's take a look at the other words on the list. President for the president of the Screen Actors Guild. And then I think he was president of something else. I forget what it was. And he was <laughs> the governor of California. Remember the Gipper for his famous line in that, that movie? One, one for the Gipper there. And he's an actor and bedtime for Bonzo, another famous movie he did. And Contra for his support of the Nicaraguan Contras. Now, let's see how you guys did. Jeremy, I thought she was going to say it, too. Good for good. We're going to give you 50 points. That was a pretty easy word. Right. Nancy, was, that was a good one. Vicky, you thought she was going to say Nancy. You get 50 points. Great. All right, Jeremy, now you get to do a little bit of gossiping. So pick a number from 1 to 7, a word associated with James Cagney. Three. The word is rat for his famous line, you dirty rat. All right, Anita, Vicky, you have punched in. Jeremy, in 15 seconds, tell us everything you know about Jimmy Cagney Go. Jimmy Cagney, he was an old-time movie actor. He was kind of half fat um, uh, in the 30s and the 40s. I think he won an Academy Award. He did a, a remake of the movie Ragtime, which was his big comeback later on in the late 70s. Um, he did a lot of movies in the 50s. Black and white films were a major thing that he did back in the MGM era. And the... What's that famous saying he did? You dirty rat. You dirty rat. You dirty rat. That was it. Let's see how much rat would have been worth. 220 points. That was a tough one, though. But we'll give you five points for every word on the list you did say. Let's take a look. I, I can't believe only one because you kept going and going. White for, for the movie White Heat. That's it. All right. Well, we'll give you five points for that, Jeremy. going to do it. He was going gangbusters there, but didn't say the words. We can't give you any points for that. Vicki, I'm sorry, we can't give you any points, but it's your turn to do some gossiping, so pick a number from one to seven, a word associated with Michelle Pfeiffer. Three. The word is dangerous for the movie Dangerous Liaisons in which he appeared. 
All right, guys, you see the word. Decide if she's going to say that. You have your decision made. Vicky, in 15 seconds, tell us what you know about Michelle Pfeiffer. Go. She's an actress. She's got big lips. She's beautiful. She's blonde. Uh, she was in the uh, Witches of Eastwick with uh, Jack Nicholson and uh, Susan Sarandon. Um, she was in... Um, She was in Dangerous Liaisons. Yeah. Dangerous was the oh. word. Let's see how much that word would have been worth. 150 points. Well, let's take a look at the list and give you five points for every word you did say. Uh, I said, let's give you five points for every word you did say. Well, I guess you didn't say book it. <laughs> so, uh, I'm sorry, Vicki, you said a few of me, but they weren't on the list. We can't give you any points for that. Let's see how Anita did. You said, yes, yeah, she's going to do it. She didn't. We can't give you any points. Jeremy, I'm sorry. Can't give you any points for that. But guys, that's the end of round one. Let's recap the scores. We have Anita in the lead with 120 points. Jeremy with 55. And, and Vicki close to 50 there. And we'll be back for round two on Rodeo Drive right after this. Seated in the order they finished the first round. We have Anita in the lead with 120 points, Jeremy with 55, and Vicky with 50. Okay, Anita, I'm going to start with you. I'm going to read you a series of statements. You just answer fact for true and rumor false. Each time you write, I'll give you 100 points. When you make a mistake, we'll move on over to Jeremy, give him a chance, and if he makes a mistake, we'll go on over to Vicky and so on. And whoever has the most points when time runs out wins the game, $500, and the chance to do some window shopping and eavesdropping on Rodeo Drive for thousands of dollars in cash. or rumor Michael Keaton played a panda on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Rumor. <laughs> no, it's a fact. He did a few episodes and also worked on the crew. This was early in his career. Jeremy, Queen Elizabeth of England speaks fluent Yiddish. Rumor. Rumor's right. <laughs> and you'll remember this from the opening. When he's not pitching, Pitcher Oral Hirschheiser relaxes in the dugout by reading Jackie Collins' novel. Rumor. Rumor is correct. Right. And you're in the lead, Jeremy, 255 points. Shirley McLean believes that she was a prostitute in the previous life. Fact. Yes! All right. Boy George appeared on an episode of TV's The A-Team. Rumor. No, it is a fact. Mr. T is a big fan of Boy George. Okay, Vicki, here we go. Kirk Douglas's autobiography is called I'm Not Burt Lancaster. Rumor. That is a rumor. <laughs> called The Ragman's Son. All right, next question. When asked at a luncheon what the greatest lesson of Watergate was, Richard Nixon replied, just destroy all the tapes. Fact. Yes, that Yay. is a fact. Steven Spielberg has a dog named E.T. Rumor. Rumor's right. Hey. <laughs> Henry Winkler is a high school dropout. Fact. No, that is an empty rule. He actually went to Yale. Back to you, Anita. Martin Sheen is directing a movie that will star his whole family, even his wife. Rumor. It is a rumor. Former Vice President Spiro Agnew claimed that he should get a... Oh, I'm sorry, that is a rumor. Vicki, Bill Cosby's children's names all begin with the letter E, which stands for excellence. Fact. It is a fact. Hey. He's got five children. They're named Erica, Erin, Ennis, Ensa, and Evan. E to remind them to pursue excellence in life. All right. Lloyds of London insured Mary Hart's legs for $2 million. Fact. It is Yay. a fact. I know they're pretty, but... In fact, her legs are so famous that when her legs were covered up by the desk on the Entertainment Tonight set, fans sent hundreds of letters to reveal them again, and of course, as we know, they did. Meryl Streep wrote her own dialogue for the courtroom scene with Dustin Hoffman and Kramer versus Kramer. Rumor. No, it's a fact. That's you, Anita. When someone shouted, is there a doctor in the house? 
In an L.A. movie theater, Richard Chamberlain yelled back, I play one on TV. <laughs> Rumor. Rumor is correct. Hey! <laughs> Walt Disney really had an Uncle Remus. Rumor. Rumor is right. Yes! Yeah. Johnny Carson thinks he'll never find the perfect wives. Rumor. <laughs> Rumor is right. Getting up there. Next fall, Jesse Jackson will host his own talk show. Fact. Yes! <laughs> the name of the show is Voices of America, and you're in the lead. Anita with 620 points. We have Vicky with 550, and Jeremy with 455. When Dale Qua Dan Quayle was asked what he thought of dangerous liaisons, he said, I can't discuss matters of national security. Fact. <laughs> no, you would think so, but it's a rumor. <laughs> Jeremy, Maureen Reagan claimed she once saw a ghost in the White House bedroom. Fact. Yes! It happened in the Lincoln bedroom where many other people claim to have seen ghosts. Gerald Ford once broke his thumb when he fell out of bed. Fact. <laughs> no, it is a rumor, Vicky. Author Jackie Collins doesn't know how to type. Fact. Yes! Yeah. Vicky, you're now in the lead. In 1981, New York Mayor Ed Koch was offered $7,500 to perform a stand-up act in the Catskill Mountains. Fact. Yes, it is! Yeah. It was at the Nevelli Hotel, but he turned it down. Deborah Winger was a mud wrestler. Rumor. Rumor's right. Hey. Robert Mitchum was once sentenced to a Georgia chain gang. Fact. It is a fact. Hey. And that sound means there's only two minutes left to the end of the game. We're down on the home stretch here. Vicky, Phil Donahue admits that he's intimidated by women. Fact. No, it is a rumor. Anita. Burt Reynolds will star and direct in a film with his new son titled Smokey and the Baby. Rumor. Rumor is right. <laughs> Oliver Stone, who directed and wrote Wall Street, is the, is the son of a stockbroker. A uh, rumor. No, it's a fact. Jeremy, John Travolta was awarded an honorary degree in education from Rutgers University. A fact. No, uh, rumor. Vicky, Michael J. Fox's mother is an auxiliary police officer. Fact. Rumor. Anita. Eddie Murphy's first acting job was on a Band-Aid commercial. Rumor. Rumor's right. <laughs> George Lucas, director of Star Wars, owns a ranch in Northern California called Skywalker. Rumor. No, it's a fact. Jeremy, Ted Danson once had a broken bone in his arm set by an Indian medicine man. Rumor. Rumor's right. Alfred Hitchcock had a fear of the dark. Fact. No, rumor. Vicky, Mike Wallace hasn't heard from old friend Nancy Reagan ever since he interviewed her in 60 Minutes. Fact. Yes. <laughs> Liberace played high school football. Rumor. Rumor's right. <laughs> Daredevil Evil Knievel owns a Harley Davidson motorcycle dealership in Long Beach, California. Rumor. Rumor is correct. <laughs> Richard Gere used to play the trumpet at bar mitzvahs. Fact. It is a fact. Hey. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger is afraid of mice. Rumor. Rumor hey. is mice. <laughs> Tom Brokaw never wears the same tie twice. Fact. No, that's a rumor. I need it back to you. Sally Field wants to direct a film version of The Flying Nun. Rumor. Yes. <laughs> and thank you. And prizes. Thank you for being with us. Jeremy, a great game. Thank you. Thank you. Come on over. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Well, Gene Kelly would be proud of you. <laughs> well, right now, Vicki, there's $2,200 just sitting there waiting for you in the bank of Rodeo Drive. But we're going to give you a chance to deposit even more money in that bank, and here's how. We're going to ask you a series of five questions. With each one, I'll ask you to make a choice between two names. Sometimes the correct answer is one or the other of those names. Sometimes the correct answer is both. Each time you're right, we'll deposit another $200 into the bank of Rodeo Drive. Here we go, your first question. Patti LaBelle and Cher, whose sister is actress Georgianne LaPierre of TV's General Hospital? Cher. Cher is Yay. absolutely right, babe. <laughs> question number two. 
Goldie Hawn and Cindy Williams. Which actress has been married to Bill Hudson of the Hudson Brothers? So that's absolutely right. That's four hundred dollars. Irma Bombeck and Art Buckwald. Whose syndicated newspaper column is titled At Whip's End? Art Buckwald. No, I'm sorry, Irma Bombeck. Question number four. Dan Aykroyd and Bill Murray, who was born in Canada? Dan Aykroyd. Dan Aykroyd is right. Aykroyd was born in Bond, my, my Boston actor. Aykroyd was born in Ottawa, Canada. Murray was born in Evansville, Illinois. All right, question number five. Judy Carn and Sally Field, who was once married to Burt Reynolds? Judy Carn. That's right. You got four right. That's 800 additional dollars written upon the bank of Rodeo Drive. You're just terrific. When we come back, you're going to have a chance of winning everything in the shop windows as we go window shopping and eating shopping on Rodeo Drive. Stay with us. Stroll down Rodeo Drive? Yes, I am. Let's go. <laughs> All right, Vicki, here you see four shops and the bank of Rodeo Drive. Let's take a look, see what's inside the shop. In the gift shop today, Soft Touch puts designer fashion into fitness, coordinated body wear in Antron Microfibers, bright colors, layered looks, and new silhouettes for any workout from Soft Touch. The jewelry store gives you today's fashion elegance, a triple strand bracelet, a highly polished finish of Italian 14 karat gold from the Michael C. Pina Company. The home shop has Martin Lawrence Gallery's beautiful limited edition Theragraph diamonds, numbered in hand signed by Lorna Patrick and available at Martin Lawrence Galleries throughout the United States. The electronic store offers a small, lightweight mobile cellular phone with such features as automatic retry, 100 number memory, and full 832 channel capacity. And the bank, which today contains $2,200, plus the $800 you added for a total of $3,000. Great. And there's some great gifts there, too. Well, Vicki, here's how it works. The game is played in 60 seconds. You stand here at the first shop. As soon as the clock starts, you're going to overhear some gossip. If you can guess who's being talked about, you move on to the next shop. If you get through all four stores, plus the bank, before your time runs out, you win all the money in the bank, plus everything that's on Rodeo Drive today. Great. Right. <laughs> now remember, you can't move to the next shop until you've answered correctly. On your mark, get set, go. But that was when he was called Little. Gee, I guess he really was kind of a prodigy, composing when he was a kid, Little even Richard? though he was blind. Even with beaded Mozart? cornrows, he still looks the same. Give me one. Rocking out on the old... All I'm saying is I don't understand why some celebrities are famous. Like the one that won the beauty contest when she was 15. Oh, sure, she did a couple of flicks. Moulin Rouge and Boys Night Out. But why is she still so famous? And that phony accent is Hungarian, more. right? Well, he's got a down-home kind of attitude that I really enjoy. You know, it all seems so serene when Barney and B, Opie and him would be sitting around on the porch in Mayberry. <laughs> daughter of such a great director? Of course a lot of her charm are those tall, lanky, dark, good looks. I mean, think of her in Crimes and Misdemeanors before she got bumped off. Then in Enemies, a love then. story. His real name is Isser Danielovich, and he tells all about his life as the son of immigrant parents in the book Ragsome, which sold pretty well, I guess. But I look at the dimpled chin. Yeah! Douglas, was that was the last one? Yeah, and I think the actor even said rag, uh, rag son or mm -hmm. something like it. it was rag man son. Right. But we were all caught up in the excitement. We wanted you to win so bad, and you did it. Good yeah. for you. Yeah. 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 You won everything on our day of including the money in the bank. That added to the five hundred dollars you won earlier means that you won a total of five thousand nine hundred dollars in cash.
All-Star participants may receive the following. Cremet's premium quality in the famous green box. Doesn't your recipe deserve Cremet? Try some tonight. Delicious Five Bar Snack Bars. A great tasting snack that's a great way to get your fiber anytime you want. Five Bar Snack Bars. High in fiber, big on taste. Johnny Cat is America's number one premium cat litter. And now with our new drawstring litter box liners, Johnny Cat and a little privacy is all any cat needs. Tootsie Roll Midgies, as good as you remember. Only 27 calories. Why not try some today? Tootsie Roll, as good as you remember. Enjoy delicious Jolly Time microwave popcorn in three great flavors. Butter, natural, and cheddar cheese. Jolly Time, the great taste you grew up with. Delicious Encore, two-pound frozen entrees for family-sized appetites. When you want more, it's Encore in your grocer's freezer. Tonight at 8, 7 Central, a Casablanca Cafe, a moonlit night. Herbert's fantasies go to Hollywood when Agnes won't move in with him. His dream sequence is a killer on moonlighting. Coming up, the streets of Boston look like a battleground when rival mobs go to war. Robert Urich is suiting up for action on Spencer for Hire. Next, right here on Lifetime. Speaking Rodeo Drive is a day.